Lisa, what are you doing this Friday? Wanna go out to dinner? I got plans, so sorry. But I gotta get back to work. Ugh, it's Yakamishi. He's annoying the receptionist again. She's clearly not interested in him. How can he not see that? I'm at Sushi Usami. I'm a 26-year-old businessman. That's my colleague, Yakamishi. He was always causing trouble for everyone around him. He's pretty good at his job, but still. How about this Sunday then? I know this really nice place. It's got a spectacular view of the city. Mr. Yakimishi, good morning. I gotta ask you something about work. Come on, let's go upstairs. And the new employee should be here any minute now. Hey, stop, I'm talking to Elisa. Dude, why did you interrupt me like that? I was talking to Elisa. You were bothering her. She's got stuff to do too, you know. Whatever, jerk. We were on the same team, so I tried my best to keep my eyes on him, but he didn't like that. I'm Shiori Sato. Nice to meet you. Say hi, everyone. Can you show around the office? Got it. We had a new member joining us on the team, but then... Why does she have to be on our team? Stop being a jerk. We're on her staff as is. We know all the help we can get. I know we're on her staff. That's why we don't have time to teach the new employees. And other departments send their useless employees to our team. So annoying. Training idiots isn't easy, you know. He's such a jerk. Miss Sato, I'll be in charge of your training, so no worries. Ayakamichi's attitude was making her nervous. The next day, things started to get more awkward. You're still working on that? What's taking so long? Get a move on! Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh, not this again. Hey, uh, I got this. Don't listen to him. Yakimishi, he's pretty good at his job, but he's not very good at teaching others. Don't worry, I had trouble with this too when I was starting out. You'll be fine. Thank you, sir. It took me a few hours, but she memorized everything within a few hours. Sato was a fast learner. Ah, I forgot to eat lunch again. Oh, it's 2 p.m. already. I'll just get some stuff from the vending machine. Our company had this food vending machine. The food there was pretty good. I rarely had time to go out to lunch, so I usually ate stuff from the vending machines. Maybe I'll get some salad and noodles. Oh wait, I had noodles yesterday. Maybe I should eat something else. I was standing in front of the machines, thinking about what to get, but then... Hey, Mr. Asami! Thank you for helping me out this morning. He just won't stop, you know? No problem. I know, right? He's such a troublemaker. He's always like that. Someone has to stop him, so... <laughs> you eating lunch or something? No, I'm just here to get some coffee. Oh, okay. Well, have a good day. Thanks, you too. I ended up getting some grilled mackerel. I started eating at a table nearby. Then the lady from the vending machine company came and started stocking up the machine. But then, Yakamishi walked in. I think he was trying to get some food from the vending machines. What are you doing? Can't you do that at night or something? People are still working here, you know. This is like the third time this has happened. What's wrong with you? Sorry, I'll be quick. Screw it, I'll just get something else. You're so useless! Get out of my face! Sorry. Not this again. She hasn't done anything wrong. It's past 2 p.m. already. Most people don't eat lunch at this hour. And you know she comes here every day around 2. The schedule sheet is right next to the machine! So what? You can't just do everything by the books. People like her, they don't think. They don't use their brains. But I guess that's why she's stuck in this dead-end job. That's enough. You can't talk to people like that. And by the way, this company is doing pretty well, you know. Their market share is increasing by the day. So what? She's just an employee there. Ugh, why is he always like this? I wish he'd stop. 
I'm done. Sorry to keep you waiting. Idiot. Sorry about him. Hey, I really like the noodles here. I eat it almost every day. Uh, thank you, sir. We're adding some new noodles to the menu next week. Oh, yeah? Can't wait! You're too nice, Usami. If you ask me, you're way too soft. Guys like you don't make it far in a company like this. So I should be a jerk to everyone like you? I didn't know what to do about him. He was always upsetting everyone around him. But then one day... Usami Yakamishi. I know it's Saturday, but I need you two to come into work tomorrow. You can take the day off on Monday. That weekend, we had to go to work on a Saturday to attend this meeting. After the meeting, as we were heading back to the office... So tired. Let's grab some lunch. Alright, I could eat. We stopped by this restaurant near the station. I've been asking Elisa to go on a date with me, but she just won't say yes. Clearly, she's not interested in you. You're just annoying her. You have to stop being such a jerk to everyone. Especially Miss Sato, the new employee. She's useless. She takes forever to learn anything. And she never speaks up. She's always mumbling. It's annoying. That's because you're always being a jerk to her. She's a pretty fast learner, too. She's going to be a real asset to our team very soon. I know it. Whatever. Besides, she's ugly. If she was hot, I'd probably be nicer, but... Uh, don't say things like that. And another thing. Why do you have to be so hard on the lady that stocks up the vending machine? She's just doing her job. She's so inconsiderate. Who cares how I treat her? She's just a loser stuck in a dead-end job. I don't think so. She's pretty good at her job. And it only takes a few minutes. Why can't you just wait? If you keep treating people like that, you're going to hurt our company's reputation. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. I don't know why I was eating with them. I just wanted to get out of here. But then... These three women walked in. And one of them was the girl at the reception. Elisa! Hello! What are you doing here? What are the odds, huh? Ugh. Hey, Mr. Wisami. Thanks for taking care of my sister. She says you're always helping her out at work. Your sister? He's a really good teacher. I was pretty nervous on my first day, but he made me feel welcome. Wait, Sato? Is that you? You two are sisters? Yeah, I wear glasses and set my hair differently during work, so... Wait, you two are sisters? Mr. Yakamishi, I'm sorry that you think I'm ugly, but I don't think that has anything to do with work. As for my voice, I'll try to speak up more from now on. What? I never said you were ugly! Yes, you did. We heard you. Also, you're always yelling at my other sister, too. I guess we're just not good enough for you. Your other sister? Wait... You're the lady that stuck at the vending machine! What? <laughs> yeah, thank you always for your business. This is my older sister, Ayaka. You're always wearing that hat, so I didn't recognize you! I know I always come at the worst timing. I'm sorry. What? No, I... Maybe I was a bit too hard on you. I didn't mean to upset you or anything. Look, if my sister bothered you, I apologize, but... Don't ever talk to me again unless it's work-related. I thought I made it pretty clear, but just for the record, I'm not interested in you, so... If you keep this up, I'm gonna talk to my boss about you. That shut him up. Hey, Mr. Usami. You like noodles, right? Uh, yeah. I really like the noodles from the vending machine. Sometimes I eat it three times a week. I gotta eat more vegetables. <laughs> well, in that case, you wanna come over to our place for dinner? We all live together and we can all cook, so... Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. Huh? Cool, I'll join you guys. Uh, I don't think so. I want to be able to relax during dinner. Yeah, you're not welcome. Yakamichi didn't say a word after that. I guess he got put in his place. 
I told you this was gonna happen. A few days later, Yakamishi was talking to the receptionist again. He seemed really desperate. There's been a misunderstanding, I'm telling you! Sorry, I got work to do. Come on, we gotta get to work. We got a meeting with the manager first thing in the morning. Then, when he walked into the office, the manager stood up and said, Yakamishi, come with me! About an hour later, he returned to his desk. Did you hear? The company that does maintenance work on our Xerox machine? They filed a formal complaint against him. He was being a jerk to them. And they weren't the only ones. He was doing this to all kinds of people. I think he's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Can't say that I'm surprised. I warned him this would happen. You gotta clean up your act. Got it? Yes, sir. And stop hitting on the receptionist. After that, he finally cleaned up his act. He stopped bothering the receptionist. Then that Friday... Hey, are you busy tonight? Uh, not really. Why? Then come over to our house for dinner. You sure? Of course. My sisters would love to see you. After that, I started going over to their house for dinner a few times a month. Then one day... Elisa asked me out on a date! Don't tell my sisters, though. They might get jealous, so... What goes around comes around, I guess. You never know who's listening, so always be nice and respectful of others. What did you think? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.